you look around yourself, there is certainly some device that harvests your personal data, even at this very moment when you watch the video. Now, ownership of such collected or harvested personal data is one of the most pressing issues that occupy the relentless mind across the globe. My paper, entitled Ownership of Personal Data in the Internet of Things, addresses some of those questions. I think my research is important, especially in light of the recent developments in data protection laws. If you look around the world, there are some countries that have recently discussed and even seriously considered the possibility of introducing data ownership rights. And my research tries to cast more light on what would this mean in practice. So the first objective of my paper is to look at the concept of personal data. Personal data, as many of you probably know, are most often contrasted with the concept of non-personal data. Non-personal data such as data used in smart farming, regarding humidity, acidity, uh, temperature, etc. Et now, what I argue in my paper is that the distinction between personal and non-personal data is a false one. It's actually not a dichotomy because the same piece of data might, thanks to various technological and analytical advancements, be in the future analyzed as containing personal information and at another instance as containing non-personal information. And so we can't say from the outset whether a single piece of data is personal and non-personal. This is a only a reverse definition. So we only reversely say that once we know that we've revealed some either personal or non-personal information from the data set, that those data are either personal or non-personal. What I propose instead is to come up with a more refined distinction between intrinsically and extrinsically personal data. So extrinsically personal data would be those types of data that in some instances might be analyzed as personal and in other instances as non-personal data. Whereas the intrinsically personal data are those types of data that have no other meaningful interpretation than as personal data. An example of such intrinsically personal data might be a human DNA. Right? The DNA sequence in all instances reveals at least some personal information. With this example of DNA, we might actually see that there is a very close link between the individual's identity and these intrinsically personal data. And as I argue in my paper, we shouldn't even wish to talk about these intrinsically personal data in terms of ownership. The reason being that owning intrinsically personal data would be pretty much like owning one's identity or it would be like owning the humans themselves. And so for these reasons, as I argue in my paper, there are a number of strong arguments that can be put forth in defense of non-tradability of such intrinsically personal data. The second aim of my paper is to look at whether the concepts of data and ownership are mutually compatible in the specific context of the Internet of Things. In essence, uh, my paper looks at questions of data ownership in relation to the Internet of Things as a sort of new phenomena where there are new interactions between devices and where it's not only about controlling, protecting and handling data over the Internet, it's also about having a new virtual environment such as the cloud where the data are mixed together and processed and so where it is much harder to control them. Now I ask whether the theories that advocate ownership from the bottom up or from the top down can apply to ownership of personal data in the Internet of Things. I do so by not only looking at the technical specifics of the Internet of Things, but also by exploring the traditional conceptions of ownership that we know from the European Neo history. Basically, I divide these uh, conceptions of ownership into two main groups, the bottom-up and top-down theories of ownership, and I explore their limits as regards the control, protection, allocation, and 
validation of um, personal data. The third and the last aim of my paper then is to propose an overall revised framework for ownership of personal data in the IoT context. And I do so by basically pointing out the difficulties and shortcomings from the previous part. For one, I think that we need to distinguish strictly between intrinsically and extrinsically personal data, which demands us also to distinguish between data and information. And secondly, I think we just can't claim at the moment that data ownership is a natural type of right. It simply isn't.